Apple added the ability to calibrate the colors on your Apple TV by using your iPhone. Let me show you how it's done. Hi, I'm Rafi Saar from Syncopa Productions. As always, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post more videos like this one. So we're talking here about the new color balance feature in tvOS 14.5 and it works even on the old Apple TV HD. You also need an iPhone that supports Face ID because you'll be using this front-facing camera and sensors to make it work. And the iPhone has to be updated to at least iOS 14.5. On your Apple TV, open the Settings app. Select Video and Audio and then scroll down to the Calibration section and select the first option here, Color Balance. Once you do, and assuming your iPhone is on the same Wi-Fi network, a color balance pop-up will show up on your phone. Click on Continue on your iPhone, then turn the iPhone so the front-facing camera points at your TV and is inside the iPhone outline that's on your screen. Make sure you hold the iPhone within 1 inch of your TV screen, so that's 2.5 centimeters or less. Wait a little while, and then you'll see that the color inside the device outline changes. Keep your iPhone in front of the screen as it's currently measuring the color output from your TV. Once measuring is complete, you can remove your iPhone. The Apple TV will then show an aerial video of a beach and you could compare the colors between the balanced or the original view, as it was before you performed this operation. Select whichever you prefer. Here in my video, you see the balanced colors as being a little more yellow-greenish, but in reality the original looks more blue and cold, and the balanced more red and warm, and I actually like it. Clearly, the results will be different for everyone. In fact, some experts have done some tests with their dedicated calibration tools, and found that this color balance tool sometimes actually makes the picture look better, but in other cases, it makes it look worse. Also, all modern TVs already include different color modes, and selecting the movie or cinema mode will usually result in a very good color balance setting. Now one thing that's very important to understand. Anything that I've done here was done through the Apple TV only. Nothing was done to the TV itself. In other words, the Apple TV itself will now output slightly different colors to my TV, but anything else which is connected to my TV, like my cable box, my Xbox, PlayStation, etc., will not be affected by this color calibration. Also, if I now go to the TV's picture settings and change the color mode, obviously the color calibration that I did is no longer relevant and I'll need to do it again. By the way, can you perform this color balance once again? Or revert back to the original even after you selected the balanced option? The answer is yes. Just go back to the color balance settings and the Apple TV will tell you that this device has already been calibrated. But it will give you the option to start the whole operation from scratch or reset it back to the default option. You can also click on view results and that will again show you the same beach video with the same options to select the balanced or original colors as before. So there's really no need to worry that calibrating your Apple TV will ruin something, because you can always go back. One more thing. I did have a problem initially to make this work. The connection between Apple TV and iPhone was there, but the measurement wouldn't start. I then disconnected the Ethernet cable from my Apple TV and connected it through the same Wi-Fi network as my iPhone, and that resolved the issue. So that's all there is to it. Write below in the comments how the calibration worked for you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't yet done so. Until next time...